Hello, this is Lubosz Kotsman from the Open Society Release team and in this video I would like to show you how to deploy the prototype of Adaptable Linux platform but in this case we will be actually using the fully uh, encrypted image. So, uh, what are the options? Uh, basically, uh, as mentioned, image is fully encrypted. You can either choose passphrase or we have also TPM chip uh, integration where you can basically skip the passphrase and then the encryption is uh, decryption of the drive is basically tied to the machine that you are using or in this uh, case when we are actually using web manager uh, emulate the TPM device if you remove it then you know game over you can't decrypt the image anymore so let's have a look uh, I have to admit that uh, for the TPM integration I will wait <laughs> I will wait for the demo uploaded by Frederick because he already showed it internally at the company and he's the best person to explain uh, the logic behind. So in uh, my demo I will only use the uh, passphrase. So we will basically after deployment re-encrypt the image. Uh, steps are the same. Uh, again, sorry for jumping in. You have to go to uh, SUSE Alp project. Uh, Click on repositories, images, and uh, in first demo we were using this uh, unencrypted image. In this case, we will be using the encrypted image. I've already downloaded it, so I will just import it. If you would be interested in the uh, TPM integration, we have a prototype here done by Olaf, uh, where you basically you need to um, again this this needs to happen in VM. Uh, you check out his repository, install Python Kiwi from, as he, I think, yeah, he mentions from home, uh, Olaf Kierch FDE project. This is in OBS. So that would be project show home. Oh, yeah, I already have it in the history. Um, again, the repositories, you would add one of these repositories if you are running Leap, for example. Um, you would add this repo fetch the images uh, or or you can maybe even dub uh, upgrade the uh, rpms from his repository important is the python kiwi you also will need to have shim and a few other packages that he has built follow his instructions and then um, in the first boot uh, choose first boot you will actually see tpm as one of the possible um, options for the fde or for the skin caption for this encryption will be basically enabled by default uh, on all of the Intel machines because this is where we ex expect uh, TPM chips uh, on the other arches. Um, yeah, we don't have TPM chips on ARM, for example. So there, are, there the integration with TPM is not an option. Uh, so let's start. Um, Post local, encrypted. Uh, yeah, I will use again SUSE Linux Enterprise. 15 for example, I will use 2 gigs of memory, uh, maybe I should kill the non-encrypted image. I will call this alp-encrypted. Uh, if you would be using uh, the instructions from Olaf, I recommend you to, well, you would have to customize it and add TPM chip here otherwise uh, yes emulate it otherwise you would not be able to test the feature good uh, begin installation but i believe in his case you would not be actually configuring the vm manually because he has a quite nice quite nice wrapper which would uh, yes run install which would actually create the vm for you so the default password which you can check here directly in the oh he has the alp as well okay so in, in the kiwi file you can check that this is one two three four yeah so i'm entering one two three four we are decrypting that's the default passphrase um the choose first boot will actually take you to the step where you will re-encrypt disk with the passphrase or tpm chip your choice uh, so adaptable linux platform that's basically the only difference in in the first boot wizard uh here Again, uh, also mentioned in the first video, the prototype, the very first prototype, which this is the case, 
uh, doesn't have a fully fledged installer. We expect D installer to be the installer used for Alp. Uh, at least this is what uh, the current development suggests. And that will come in one of the later prototypes. Um, the prototypes are supposed to be released every three months. So now we have the September one, and you would expect one around Christmas, and then you know somewhere in May, until we make it to the uh, product launch in fall next year. Uh, again, I will use default just like in the first demo. Test, uh, test uh, here. So if you would have the uh, if you follow steps from Olaf, you would actually have an option for TPM here. Uh, I don't have that option, uh, so I will just use passphrase. Um, so the new one, we had one, two, three, four, so five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. And this will take us to re encrypting the disk uh, and then login. And that's basically all. So let's wait for re encryption to finish. As mentioned, uh, the TPM availability is, um, to my knowledge, only on Intel. So um, this is where you can use the feature. Um, I expect that the prototype has currently in scope only on Intel. So I'm not sure how it will be on ARM, but I would expect that um, we will not have the um, full, full disk encryption by default. It will be either optional or it won't be available. I would expect that it will be optional. On Intel, you can choose not to use it, but default is actually. I expect that productized default will be uh, fully encrypted with TPM support where it makes sense. So, root test, and we are done. Thank you very much for watching, and make sure to check all the other videos about deploying workloads. Thank you very much.